after weeks of promoting hydroxychloroquine, uh, turns out that the drug is not a good treatment for coronavirus. In fact, some of the symptoms, the consequences, the side effects that come along with taking the drug are severe, including heart issues. Uh, some people in clinical trials died as a result of the drug. And so they stopped testing the drug for coronavirus in countries like Brazil. Sweden has stopped using it to treat coronavirus patients. Uh, but apparently Dr. Oz missed the memo because in a recent Fox News segment, um, seemed like he wasn't completely up to date with new information. Let's take a look. All right, so let's move on to hydroxychloroquine. They did a study, uh, a limited study at a VA hospital, and they came to the conclusion it did no benefit, and they still had 19 deaths. What's your reaction to that since you've been doing, uh, we've all been doing heavy work to find out where if this works or not? Well, the VA study looked at older and quite a bit uh, sicker patients, all, all male patients in their hospitals, and they showed that the drug by itself didn't help and might harm that population. As you know, there have been other studies. Uh, then the VSA was retrospective. They looked back to see what had happened because they weren't gathering the data at the time uh, that they were actually uh, giving the, med the medications. Uh, studies that have done this prospectively, so looking forward and giving it as they as collecting data as they're going along, like in France or the randomized trials from China, have shown benefits, but only really when it's given earlier to patients. The fact of the matter is we don't know. Thankfully, these doc these medications are prescription only, so doctors are desperately awaiting the completion of the higher right. quality randomized trials and we've you've covered them on the show several times uh, South Dakota University of Minnesota now has over a thousand patients randomized uh, there's additional trials going on let's get that data so we know what we're dealing with so look he's made worse statements in the past um, but we do know we do know that the risks outweigh the benefits uh, of taking this drug to treat COVID-19 patients. And it's not just about COVID-19 patients. Because of what Trump has done in irresponsibly promoting this drug, people who actually do need the drug for lupus, for instance, are having a difficult time filling their prescriptions. And I just find it interesting that in that conversation, um, Dr. Oz didn't mention what, what's happening in Sweden with that drug, how they halted using it. Um, the study out of Brazil, where so many people taking hydroxychloroquine, um, which is you know the active ingredient in hydroxychloroquine, died as a result of being part of that clinical trial. So Brazil was like, we can't, mm -mm, we're going to cut this part of the trial because it's too much of a risk, right? So the, we do know how severe the consequences are, and I think he needs to be clear about that. Otherwise, people are going to be demanding this drug. They're going to be taking this drug off label for something that it's not approved for. And, it, you know, it could cost them their lives. It's just yeah. such irresponsible messaging coming from someone who is called Dr. Oz, you know? Exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, so I think you covered Dr. Oz very well. So I will follow up by just saying uh, with Brian Kilmeade there, like, like, what do you what do you say? You know, since you I mean, we've done so much work to try to figure out if this is going to work or not. That's the work that you've done to try to figure out. What did you did you put on scrubs and did you go do a, a, a trial? Did you, did you randomize some subjects? Uh, it was a double blind. Is that what you did, Brian Kilmeade? No. You didn't try to figure out, you didn't bring on actual doctors to come on and give critical, realistic, accurate analysis of the likelihood that this will be helpful. You boosted it. That's all you did. You did it day after day after day after day for like three or four weeks. Um, you led to Donald Trump, obviously, uh, starting to boost this himself. I mean, everybody should watch John Oliver's uh, episode from Sunday where he did a, a great job of mapping out the path of this whole hydroxychloroquine thing. But no, they didn't do any, all they did was boost it and lead to people having completely weird um, views of the likelihood that it's gonna be successful. And so I, I think it's, it's awesome that we're pointing out that Dr. Oz has some culpability here in terms of giving people his expectations, but he was not the only one. He was brought on to do that by hosts and by mm -hmm. shows that had that as their mission. Yeah, exactly. And and the way that I view that segment that we watched was a way for Fox to kind of like cover their tracks because they had been promoting that drug irresponsibly for so long. And now they're trying to change the messaging to make it seem like, oh, no, 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 we're, we're responsible. We have new information. But anyone who spent the time to look at the studies that had been done previously. There was one in France, for instance. 
you can see how insanely limited that data was and how the death rate for people who were taking that drug in that clinical trial in, in France was too high, right? Mm -hmm. So they, did they not do that? I mean, forget Fox. Of course, Fox didn't do that. Fox has no interest in ever sharing the truth or doing research or giving people actual evidence for their arguments. It's just a propaganda cable news channel. But Dr. Oz, like, I, he, he cares about his brand. I know that he cares about his brand. And I know he cares about credibility because credibility means you can keep going on these shows. You can keep making money. You're hurting your credibility, bro. I get it. You think that it's great to be on Fox News. It's not because you're associating yourself with propaganda. And from previous segments that we've shown the audience, he obviously can't help himself in just like going along with what they're saying. And that is not what he should be doing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.